Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Today I am recreating this Sahira Banu inspired makeup look from her movie Parosan. I have used all the affordable products. The details will be in the description so that you can check them out. And without any further ado, let's get started. Oh my god, it's so hot here in Delhi. I'm using a product that is good for moisturizing as well as priming my face. So I'm not going to be using any additional primer and just going to massage this all over my face. Now I'm not using any corrector, any concealer. I'm directly moving on to foundation and I am deliberately applying this foundation like these dots all over my face because I was making a transition video for my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, here is my handle. Do follow me on Instagram because I post some cool content over there as well, which you would not want to miss. Now I'm quickly blending my foundation. And I am setting my base with a translucent powder. I'm applying it all over my T-zone as well and just ensuring that I won't get any smile lines. Now for my brows, I'm using a powder product and she had very thick eyebrows in the look. Like the eyebrows were very broad, so I'm just filling my brows like that, but keeping them natural. Moving on to the eyes, I'm using a matte grey eyeshadow and placing it directly onto my crease and blending it properly. Now I'm adding a sea green eyeshadow all over my lid. I'm just going to apply it a couple more times until I'm satisfied with the color. Now comes the trickiest part, drawing a bold winged eyeliner. Finally, I got these matching wings. They're almost similar, I guess. Now she has a double winged eyeliner going on and the lower liner is very, very light. It's just like a flick. So I'm just creating that and applying a very light coat of mascara only on my top lashes. Now I'm adding a coral blush on my cheeks and no contouring, no bronzer. Now for the lips, I'm adding a coral lipstick. I'm not applying it deliberately but just dabbing it on my lips to have that natural flush of color. A little bit of highlight, just a subtle one, not something blingy. And here is the retro hairstyle. She also has a mole on her face, but I already have a natural one. So I'm just going to emphasize it. And here is the final look, you guys. I really love the way it has turned out. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such amazing videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.